Let's make it official to start of the Tell us where we are. Okay, we're, we're, do you guys want to start the game tonight and only play for like 20 minutes? Play as money as you can get out of And we're doing the Who Wants to Be a Grover game. Where are we? Kevin B. That's the girl of our family reunion. It has begun. Cash register. Do you guys want to start tonight with money? No, let's just yeah. give it a trial run tonight. Let's just, let's just have a kind of a preview and we'll do the you know, Save the Save the gambling hey, for Sunday. Do you have those cards? <laughs> 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 yeah, I love the rubber humor. <laughs> it's in the mid. I'm reading the cards so that you guys can. Vicky, okay, well, this is what we're going to have to do. We're going to. Well, tonight, I'm going to keep you up for this. this. No, I'm out of commission. Just give it a second. You have to explain. But then how will they have fast fingers. So let's say we have five of you chosen, and you would each have. How are we going to do that? Who, what's a fair way to choose who's on the panel? So, you know what you do is you put on a place name in a hat and draw it off. We'll do that tomorrow. Wow. Okay. So, just so just randomly tonight, let's say it's Sam, Sue, hey, um, Eliza, and Whitney. No, and no, in order, like on that split second thing. <laughs> No, well, yeah, whoever's first oh, right, then they get to be a contestant. Well, I'm not okay. okay. So who knows the answer to that one? It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. Okay, list the following people alphabetically by their middle names. Isaac, Maylin, Kyle, Emily. CDBA. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is fine. There's a stall right over there. We need the shots of her supportive husband over there. I guess anywhere that Jenny is not, right? Not in the audience, so she can call me. <laughs> These are hard. Well, what if the answer is this should be turned into trivia for Sue? Because they're all hard questions. We just kind of. Tumor that Paul Powell had removed from his shoulder. 
brother. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, I know. Is it osteogenesis imperfecti, myositis osteopecans, rhabdomyosarcoma, or acute inflammatory osteoma? See. <laughs> 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 and these are the complete coherent sentences Tom was speaking at the age of 18 months. <laughs> and um, I'd like a 50-50. 50-50, okay. 50-50 is osteogenesis imperfecti or myositis osteocans. And it was in your family letter. <laughs> it was? Of course it was. Of course, did you have to like completely go over it to score checkers? Uh, Wait, what are the letters? Okay, the two choices left are osteogenesis imperfecti or myositis osteocans. So what was still the, have pulled the audience. What was the question? Was the name of the two minutes what? See, that's what. Yeah. Yeah. That's right right the That's like for old people, isn't it? Yeah. But what the problem is, hey, no the imperfectus muscle terminal. So, I don't know if that's that that's what that was. Give it away. Because that was the best What What the hell is it? Hey, everyone thinks how it is affected. No pals can vote. Sunday morning at Aspen Grove. We're getting ready to go over to church. Hi, Paul. Getting a little help there, huh? Mm -hmm. and there's the Tom Powell who donated the tie to Grandpa. <laughs> Uncle Tom. Yeah. Get ready. Let's see. Eliza, turn turn around. Let me see. Who you got? Isaac or Noah? Hey, Noah. 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 Hey, Noah. Hey, it's fun. Oh, she's got the only joy you have. You've got your favorite aunt here. Though I wonder even what you have Parkinson and caffeine can help. Our clinic over here, Nurse Vicky helping Tyler change his bandage from his accident. So, or if we could get Oh, is that it? Yeah, and I've got there's mom and dad. Is it an ant? They were system now. Actually, it's because your numbers and letters all cut out really easy. That's what it's kind of Mom and dad's might be tricky. And then she said, our mission to assimilate has been to have a little bit of 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 a Go ask Daddy. I just 
pails with it. Oh, that's what Joe does. Yeah. Joe scratches his legs with it. Let's try for me. So I'm probably so I would be And in that time, we're going to try and take individual family group pictures, if we can, as many as we can, like just the garners, just the tingies, whatever. So gather your group and get them if you, however you want them. So it's just the one that hasn't chosen on like several days growth and so they're just nice family picture. Do you need back for Ben? They gave him something to the hospital. Oh, they put it on. That's the one. I know, he already did. You put sunscreen on this, Vicky. That gets pretty grimy. Okay, run in and get your skis. What are you going to do with this little thing right there? I will figure that out later when I come to it, huh? <laughs> and this one right there. A long baby. Oh, there's a bottle baby food right there. Okay, Landon, come on back here. Hey, Noah. Hey, Noah. Hi. Now you stay here. Don't come back till it's over. <laughs> Oh, that's crap up. You've got a snap for you, too. You're going to lose that. Were you recording that? Yeah, I'm right in this place. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, really yeah. Yeah. how many times I just put this? Like, I don't even wear a shirt. Craig, and it just started crying. Adam? Hey, cousin. Ben? Come here. Hey, Noah. 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 Hey, Noah.
know if that Murphy still knew that. I'm hearing all of what you guys know. Wow. They went oh, she had the game game punch game. cards, and she would punch cards. every day you win. Yes. And then she had the there red stamps star. And she passed off the song. She had a red star. Okay, stars. that's enough being stuck. Okay. Okay. Let's go. We are going for the big one, quarter. And this oh, level is over. Wow. Who holds? Jay over here, yeah. Who holds the highest score in Minesweeper? Is it A. Tyler Owens? Oh, 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 oh. Is it A. Tyler Owens, B. Vicki Bailey, C. Mom, or D. Oh, Matt Cow? I know. I know. Wait, I have like Wait, no, it's okay. Is this a really thing that are in that immediate direction level? We've just submitted it. There's three adults that I know are full time, and they all at one point held the record. They're after each other to keep breaking the record. Okay, yeah. Um, the Can you read the choices again, Vicki? Who has the highest score for the expert level in my Is it Tyler, Vicki, Mom, or Matt? Now, Vicki was extra happy a month or two ago when I went back there because I think she said she broke Matt's record. She's <laughs> running along on TV and thinks out everything. What's your instinct? Go with your instinct. Go with my instinct. You're the kind of girl, but it's a quarter. It's a quarter. Now, but you went 50 50. Yeah, Vicky, I'm the 50 50. How who decides? Yeah, Vicky decides. Yeah, I should have influenced the judge who would choose to fish it. But they do it all the time on TV, so you're just lucky. And every time they say it's either Elizabeth or she goes for 50 50. And it says currently holds, right? Yep. These questions were written as of midnight before the count. No, it's a living. But now Vicky's been on the road a lot, so Matt, hearing that she broke her record, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
What was that? I remember the following countries have mom and dad not visited. Is it A, Mozambique, B, Thailand, C, New Caledonia, or D, Australia? Anyone can get this, Nancy can. Our geography major. How's that for pressure? Well, between those two. Mm -mm. No. Mom, Scott. Mom? No. <laughs>
Can you give us some? If you really hear, I've got your sister Gail. I've got your sister Gail here. She's got 30 seconds to talk to her. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Remember my shower? Just keep it. Okay, 30 seconds, that's all. Guitar string, now she's got a ring. I'm 100% sure it was guitar string. It's my guitar string, that's how we So your final answer is? The guitar. Love it. Actually, we were looking at that video that you know that Marilyn made of uh, each of the kids, and it showed Joe when he was a baby, and I it just like hit me like that looks a lot like Joe. Yeah. 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 Joe's hair is a little bit longer, but but there's but um, I mean it's but, yeah. stuck straight up. It's hard to tell if it's any longer because his is laying down. Joe's Ryan's <laughs> covered his ear. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he does look a lot like Joe. Yeah. Oh. Joe, do you ever wonder what you'd look like as a baby? That's about as That's close as you'd get. Until yeah. you have your own son. Uncle Vic or George Who wants to be a girl? Yeah. 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 We just started the camp. Even though I think he was just originally attracted to that. I didn't know who was who at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, whichever one was the favorite. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're not. Okay. 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 See, I didn't know that for sure, but I knew that. She told me a gold dollar. That's a good luck charm, though. Okay, she'll keep oh, the gold no. dollar no matter what. Yeah, that's that's okay, now we're going for 10. 
It's kind of like the way I ride my Harley. Here we have Nancy and Troy playing in the doubles tennis tournament. Get it in focus here. Get it <laughs> catching the fast action here. I'm just Group is gathering for Aspen Follies on the big field. What a beautiful place. Thank you. 
but you guys can stand in your spots. Okay, Katie, go stand in your spot. You need to go over a ways. Grayson, come over here. Over and you guys are going to lay down, and you're going to squat down. Lay down. Okay, okay, so okay. Jenny, you guys, your feet will touch each other. You guys have to touch each other, okay? No, your head will touch Sarah, me. you're going to lay no, down. No, how about my hands? I think they need to lay down here. Go stand there. You guys, scoot over this way. Maddie, you're going to come. Jenny, scoot over a little bit more. Lay down like this. All right? You lay down like that. So, so your feet are going to be by Katie and Betty. Oh, no. Okay. So, go this way. Go this way. Yes! Six seconds! Yes! Six head back that way. No, the other way. The other way. The other way. Kyle, right, watch out. Brian. Brian. Brian, the other way. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. 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 Get the cones to get points. That's dangerous. You can do it. Got it. There you go. Get back, Dave. Get back, Dave. Here, Tyler. Yeah, I got it. Which one's the big one? Do we have all the freedom? Okay. okay. What is the team name? Grover. 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 Is that the cheer team? Yeah. 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 Cheer team. Wow. Okay. 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 What? Um, this is such a good cheer. Since you like to put your cheer and your name together, I'll give you an extra 10 seconds for that. Right on. Okay, I like that. Okay, now you have one minute and ten seconds to get as many balls into that bucket as you can. Okay, now you're gonna have one person holding the bucket and moving it around to catch it. And they have to be standing on that green grassy patch right there. And then you need two other people to work as rebounders to throw the balls back because no one can cross the street. Okay, there's a line here you can cross. Now those rebounders. Get set. Ready, set, go. Well, improvise. Mine went in. Mine went in. Mine went in. Wow, you guys are phenomenal. Just let me say that. Keep going. Come back here. Come back here. Okay, big 
The medium left forward. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now put your put your right foot right by your left. Oh. Uh, okay. okay. You're right there. All right. You've got a milk cart in front of you. Big right step over it. Big right step. Now left. Okay. Walk forward. You're through. Big left forward. Big right forward. Right sideways. Right sideways. No, just remember fire shot, just step sideways. Step sideways. Step sideways again. One more. All right, forward to your right. Right, left, right, left, you're through. Go. Big left forward. Big right forward. Go back. All right. All right, start. Big left forward. Big right forward. Okay, small right. Small right forward. Okay. Step to your right. One more to your right. Okay, now very carefully. You got a ball right by your right foot. Pick it up carefully and step forward one foot. Pick your right foot up carefully. Move forward. Right there. Left foot forward. Same foot. Alright, now come to the right. Alright, stop. Rotate. That means turn to your left. Don't move your feet. There you go. Just turn to your left. Go. No. What you're doing, turn to your left. Okay. Left forward one big foot. Okay. You have to step a real big step to your right. Huge giant step. You're gonna go over a ball. Okay? Right. Side step. Big. Go. Okay. Rotate to your left a little. Step forward. Alright. To your left once. Left again. Okay, you're through. Stay okay. <laughs> Small right way. forward. That's sideways. Don't do that again. Okay. <laughs> Take uh, big right sideways. Well, there you go. Uh, a big right again. Sideways. Little right sideways. Forward with your right. Forward with your left. Forward with your right. You're through. Hey! Next. Try this way. Okay, okay with you. Big right. Big left. Big right. Okay, Braden, Braden. Why don't you go on top right then? Big left. Forward, right. Forward, left. Whatever. Forward, left. You're taking baby steps. One more. Okay. Come to your right side step. Step once. Step twice. To your right three times. To your right four times. And stop. Take a left forward. Okay, now you're going to rotate to your left. You're no longer straight. Okay, to your right, sidestep, big. One. Uh, rotate to your left a little bit more. A little bit more. Now you're straight. Okay, big right step. Another big right step. Okay, left forward. Right forward. Left forward. Right forward. Left. Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's a real little That's okay. That was the end of the Okay, Ben. Big right. Big left. All right, now you get close. Big, big, big right. You got to step over. Way up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a sideways. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, okay. okay. Move. You're okay. Move. move your left foot forward, straight. Okay. Baby step forward. Baby step. Okay, big right. Right to my voice. Come to me. Just one more, just like that. Okay, now we're going to walk forward. Left foot. Right foot. Stop. Now, you're going to go out up in the angle. Not forward, you got to cone right in front of you. Okay? So you got a chair right to your left. You're going to angle right in front of you with your left foot. Step. That's it. Now bring your right foot to meet your left foot. Carefully. And step forward, you're through. Big left foot. Big right foot. Okay, bring your feet together. Okay, side step right once. Side step twice. Okay, careful, you're going. Oh, got a ball. Go back. Now I need the space better. <laughs> yeah, pick your feet up when you step. Okay, let's go again. Big right. Okay, left. Right. Left. Oh, you hit. Okay, bring your feet together. Okay, side step right one. Side step right two. Side step right three. And take a baby step forward. Side step right again. And one more time. Okay, we're going to go forward. Just step over forward. the cone, Carl. Right foot forward. Left foot forward. Now bring it together. 
Okay, side step to your left, carefully, baby step. One, okay. And you gotta come right in front of your left foot. So go completely sideways, baby step. There you go, and stop. Step forward, and you're through. Step right to me. Once. Twice. Okay, take just a baby step forward. That's it. Now side step to the right again. One. Side step again. Two. One more time. Three. Okay. Right foot forward. Then walk. Left. Right. Stop. Okay, stop right there now. You gotta go right in front of your left foot. So do a baby step to the left foot.
Jump over here. Jump over here. Ready, ready, ready. Go. Go. Run, go. Ready for five. Run. Keep running. Hard, 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 hard. Go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it's Kyle. We got six. <laughs> we got six here. Oh, six. We got six. We got to hold him up. Go, go. Go, go. since we have so much time left over. Grillbirds. Baileys are starting to show up in the picture. Oh, even the Blazers. Tushers. Owens. Tyler in the background hiding. Grandma and Grandpa. Emily. Didn't get hurt last time. Tingy family. Marilyn doing her best to get this thing put together. And now the Garners are finally getting into this picture. We got the Powells. And Squires there. Troy looks excited about getting into this picture. Uh, 
And then now they're threatening with treats now to get kids to stand still. Oh, thank you. Yeah. We apologize to any of you out there who are not Trekkie fans, but <laughs> this is our, the Grover family reunion skit. I require a mate. Number two, my name is Elizabeth. I too require a mate. I too require a mate. Oh thou fair maiden, wouldst thou have me? I am Sir Matthew Powell. <laughs> what an interesting life form. <laughs> known as Jane. I need, I am seeking new forms of life. <laughs> what an interesting new life form. Me try, you Jane. <laughs> Number seven. Frank Square, you are the chosen one. The 
a lot of Grobergs. Wow. Very impressive. We're going with some shuffleboard. Down at this end we have Joe, Jim, Liza, Tom, Sam. This end, Grandpa, Jenny, Dave, Dan, Tyler, Tyler, Jenny, oh, back there. Okay, now you guys stay there. Yes. Oh. Yeah. So 
pencil so you can erase these little lines later. Okay. Sometimes doing that can kind of help. When you're first starting, you can't quite get down the shape. Then you come back in later and you fill in all the details. Like a human. With humans, okay, what is the most important feature of a human? Face. 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 So that's that's a good starting point to start with face. Let's just let's try just doing a few faces. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no. That's caricature. Yeah, do grandpa. I'm not so good at caricature. Caricature. Okay, we'll talk just, a little bit about that. Okay. Okay, oh, let's don't. try doing maybe a little bit of superhero or something. Go get a drink. Look at Grandma. Look at Grandma. Kendra, look at Grandma. Kendra. 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 Look at Grandma. There's a little nose in there. <laughs> maybe we'll make them really good. Kendra, you can go get a drink. Spot. Okay. Make some hair. Exaggerate his hair. Okay, so there's a lot of things you can do with faces. Um, um, and a face is probably where you want to start because that's, that's your focal point. Okay. Um, but you can start doodling and doodling around. One of the best things you can do when you're starting to learn how some of this is, is just copy other people. Just look at a cartoon and say, hmm, I wonder how he, how he does that. Uh, so, you, know, you kind of look, oh, he does a face this way. You'll notice a lot of times with, especially like comic strips, they'll repeat a lot of things over and over because they'll get into a, a style and they'll just repeat that over and over because it works. Um, you know, basic head, you know, circle. You can, uh, everyone knows how to draw a smiley face. Everyone knows that you know, if we change, change the eyes. Slits or something to make a sad face. Not just with the mouth, but uh, eyebrows. Sometimes you can put eyebrows in there to get a hand. Oh, it's just like the eyes. Really, something stuck to his shirt. You just add the back. You want to you, you want to keep the little fine details details and the important things exaggerate them. Okay, most people don't don't have a face that's really elongated, but uh, sometimes to express that really emotion. Sometimes having you know an exaggerated smile, exaggerated eyes and eyebrows, all that sort of thing bring that out. Now if we're going to start with uh, doing like a body. Here, let's see. Okay. Uh, body will come somewhere down here. Yeah. So sometimes the little rough in lines can help you get an idea there are certain dimension, like even just on the face where the nose and eyes go. Like, like realistically, your eyes are 50% down. Yeah, it's like halfway down.
except you're you're usually focused again right on the face. Here's one that someone did for uh, Hoover or Woodrow Wilson, one of our U.S. presidents. Okay, they kind of just took the face, and you kind of have to sum up the face, analyze the face. What what is what sticks out most about this particular face? Is, it is uh, what is the overall shape of the head? Is it is it long? Is it wide? Is it just totally round? And, and then you go with that. Uh, I think most faces are more long. He's really almost. asleep. Some faces seem to be a little more wider, so you can go a little bit more wide, a little bit more, or a little bit more round. Just depending on what they are. He looks pretty solid. This artist chose to elongate the face, exaggerate that aspect of the face, and uh, said, "Okay, what's what about the nose? Is the nose really fat? Why? How, how does the nose look?" So just kind of look for those features that were most pronounced and then exaggerated those in the drawing chart. Here, the ears are, are fairly big, so we decided to exaggerate the ears as well. Um, you, if you notice in here, he kind of has some almost bags under the eyes, so he, he included that in, in, the, in the caricature as well. Um, I'm not real good at caricatures. That's the idea. You want to find, you want to try to, the idea is to pick out those features that are the most pronounced, the ones that really stand out, exaggerate those. Like I have a huge nose. Yeah. They keep arguing you, and I don't have a huge nose. Are you your smile? Big teeth? Yeah. Big white smile. Yeah, that's what I do. What would you do with me, Nancy? Big fat tummy, the glasses. Face only. Face only. Oh. And Sue would be curly hair. Oh. Yeah. This book. Sue would be curly hair and yeah. dark uh, eyes. Lots of different books. Dark this eyes. thing goes hair into showing. There's all kinds of. This is just. Sarah it was meant as a way so you could kind of get a style. It says here's a whole bunch of styles of different kinds of eyes, different kinds of mouths, different kinds of noses you can do, and just depending on what style you want to. So are you going to do a character for somebody for us? Uh, try. Try. I, I could try. I'm not real good at character. Or do Sarah. She's right there. Sarah, turn around. Just choose someone that you can. And dimples. Just do big eyes and two dimples. Yeah, let's watch. Big eyes, two dimples, and small. Really small. Sarah, wait a minute. You might have to have your model. You want to be a model. Whoever you think you need to be a model. No, that's like great. I'm just trying to think of somebody that really has features that I think. Well, if you want to do that, it's just probably bruises. He's gonna, he's gonna draw Joe. Huh? We need to wash your face. What created it, Nancy? Well, he's got an expander in, and it just, as it expands out here, it's, you know, creating more space in there, so the other teeth that are crowded can slide in, so. In fact, it was really weird. I, I don't know, I was telling some other people, but it's this thing where you crank it every day, and it was cranking, cranking, you really notice a lot of difference, and it was, sore and painful, and then after about two weeks, was it? It started easing off, and after about three weeks, it started getting really painful again, and we thought, this is so weird. But then, one morning, it like, almost popped. I mean, not a pretty literal pop, but, but by 24 hours later, his teeth that had been overlapped were like, yeah. Sarah left when we talked about having her be the model. She snuck out. Yeah, I think 
Oh, was that what scared her away? Well, she was one of the nominations. Jenny, who's in the Our distinct features that come out with Joe. Who's left out? The eyes, you know, her dimples. That was actually just kind of an extra, so if any of the babies had to have one, they could use that one. Daddy, please get me some more. Okay, Joe, you need to just kneel down right beside it so we can get that. <laughs> Another thing that we have fun doing as a family are the big puzzles, like the 100 to 300 piece the Disney puzzle or something like that. You know those 300 piece where the pieces the are like this pieces, big, yeah. so and it, it fills fast. up like it's half yeah. the size. But it's of this still world. a challenge, and it's so you're all around the kitchen table working on it together, and it's big enough that you can kind of do that. But small enough that you can get it done. Right. One but there's there. also parts like you know we can do. Like he'll do the words where it says the Lion King. He can fit those together, and then somebody else will say, "I'm going to do the monkey," and I'm going to do the, you know, and you kind of divide it up that way. And another thing that we do that's free and fun are the family hikes. Let's go on South Mountain, or even just short little walks through the neighborhood. But you have to see these walks through the neighborhood because they're pretty weird. <laughs> 
Oh, play like yeah. follow the leader and stuff. And you just don't. You just have to not care what people yeah. think. If you see them. Well, <laughs> just having seven kids, you have to not care. What <laughs> You know, we used to do Sunday walks. And then, uh, I don't know, we gave it up when I was doctors. I guess we gave it up when church was from 12.30 to 3.30. Now it's too hot. <laughs> 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 do you even do the walks when it's oh, as hot as it is? So we, do we used to do it good because and that was a really good trip, but now it's too hard and it lasts very long. And it makes me sad that I dropped it. And sometimes I think it's important to remember that the dynamics of your family does shift. You know, obviously when you got big teenagers and they're, you know, some of the things don't work as well mm -hmm. as they did when they were little. So you just have to, you know, all, you kind of just have to make adjustments. The advantage that we have on that is with the big long spread, the older kids will still come and participate as Helping helpers. Out with if we were just to say, Jim and Tom, let's go for a walk, we wouldn't get much of a response. But let's go on a family walk. We and we need you to help with Joe. And we sign your... And then it's a cool song. Now, I'm, I'm interested the way you say that, let's do this, instead of do you want to do this. It's more, this is what we're going to do, instead of yeah. giving yes. them an opportunity to say, oh, I don't want to do it, or and something like that. And you look for times to do it, you know, like, you know, like last Sunday Thanksgiving, like we got the turkey in the oven or whatever. Or, or no, we didn't do that, we were asking. Because we had the turkey in the oven. No, we did the turkey last year or the night. Whatever, no, either we had the turkey in the oven or we didn't have to cook turkey or something. But so we just went on a family <laughs> walk because we were all there. It was a holiday. But do you normally nice go weather. on Sundays or no? No, it's not Sundays are not. Who has time to do anything on Sundays? Sundays aren't good days because I have the state calling. And we hardly ever even do Saturdays. No, Sundays are far from restful yeah. for us. It's unfortunate. No, it's it. usually, it's usually some other. Um, See you there again when you're Memorial kids Day. Older. I mean, you know, when you don't live by family yeah. and it's a holiday, you get yeah. you you have not you're not going to dinner with a billion other people. It's just you, because Liz is with the Owens. Especially card games. Yeah. I grew up playing rook, and it's just a fun. You should see how excited Matt was. Yeah, once our boys were old enough to learn the game. No, we can play because it's a four-person game. And mm -hmm. Well, we, we can have to bid. Yeah. But we could. I mean, we over. could only play if we were together with somebody else. And so now that the boys can play, and everyone pretty much down the hall plays pretty good now. Paul's yeah. really good. And we That's play cool Pays 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 kind of tradition. Birthday party, and that's really been a fun. On your anniversary. That's been a fun tradition. Because we actually give our family presents, you know, and you we get the whole family gets one present, or like you give each other. No, it's like a no. Time. I mean, Matt and I will get the presents. The kids don't have to get them, but they all take turns opening them from just a bunch of. It's presents. just oh, happy just birthday okay, family. family. Okay. For instance, so when it was our 12th anniversary, needs. Matt got this idea, and he went and got 12 of a bunch of things because things come in. 12 packs or dozens, but like there a dozen eggs, everyone to use. a package yeah. of 12 well, batteries. I mean, just dumb stuff, but it's just the fun of opening it. It's not like you're spending a ton of money. It's stuff you might be getting anyhow, or stuff that you were waiting for an excuse to get, you know. Yeah. But we also did fun things. Yeah. That's cool. And we, and we typically take the family out to dinner, which, other than when you're eating at McDonald's on the way to, Air, to Utah from Arizona, we don't do that. Right. Well, so that's see, something that's where I messed up. It's, it's not a novelty to go out to eat anymore. <laughs> well, and we don't take them to McDonald's. I mean, we'll go to a sit-down place. I mean, JB's. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but only or, or maybe Pizza Hut or something like that. But so that's a fun That's day. been fun. And John and Beth, uh, she's doing her? Yeah, she's right here. Right. Can see her. She's you guys do that too, don't you? Um, do you, oh yeah, John. John liked that so much. He wanted to do that too. How's that? How is that work? Um, well, I guess we've only done it. What did we do? Maybe we've only done it once, but we like went to SeaWorld. <laughs> oh wow! 
<laughs> well, it's like my birthday too, and our anniversary. That's and right. So you're like, oh, did you the party? Why don't Joan like the idea? Let's kill two birds with one stone. So we like <laughs> made a bigger trip, but I don't know what yeah. I'll do in future years. Well, we've done like we've gone to the issue we went to we did the mill. Well, I don't remember. I thought that was for somebody's birthday. Well, we, we anyhow, you, you know, it just depends. You just do whatever. Yeah. Well, we've been even when we were all little and we couldn't afford babysitters. You, we still would have a date. We'd go get a video, pop popcorn, put the kids to bed. You know, you just plan something to do yeah. together instead so do, like, of one person doing, doing homework and one person doing the <laughs> house calendar. Once a month, month is all. And our husbands go to sleep and, and we watch it alone. Parks asleep. No, you send him to the show. video. <laughs> no, I, no, yeah, we've no. got the video. Once the kids are asleep, the husband's going to bed. They're asleep before the previews are over. Well, I have fallen. Well, I want to know when the leg rub and back rub comes in there. <laughs> that you're forced to give try. <laughs> I never said that. <laughs> Carl and I just schedule it in. I mean, when we do our calendar planning every week, it's like, you know, we'll we can't do every, that. Can't reach we have those. to make sure we well, schedule a temple a trip spot, every month right? and date every Friday or sometimes it doesn't work out on Friday. Friday. We try, we try to do it Friday, but well, I remember Mom a lot of times. Every Thursday. You guys oh, had Friday night. No, Thursday was date night for you guys, right? Friday. Well, maybe it's been different at different it's times. Scary. That's what we're talking about. You fluctuate, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like when we were at school and had no money, we just... <laughs> and even if you have to take the kids with you, if you put them in a stroller and go for a walk and they fall asleep, yeah, we walk do that. up we'll to go, go like and you just stop at the park and talk or look at, I don't know, whatever. Probably t what Jenny's remembering There's is during the here, time that Dad was usually going to call her. Hi. Steve and Ben, they're playing. Hi. Hey, Maylin. Maylin. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Are you swimming, huh? Good. Looks like Sarah's swimming, too. Oh, I'll just record him. Watch your go, Sarah. Kind of bright. Would you like, would you like swimming? Oh, yeah. 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 Feel good, Sarah? Stay here with Nate while your mama's busy. The water's warm, huh? Oh, the water over there is cold. The water here is warm. Oh, I want to watch. Because all those people are a uh -oh. whole family. <laughs> and she doesn't even have a baby with Alex. Hey, Maddie. No, it Hi, Grandma. Let's see your fancy face. Ah, not me. <laughs> Oh, 
fishing in cotton balls with vessel. I'm like, no, we're so talking about two different. Different. Okay, they were basically trappers. Does anybody know what time period this was taking place in? Um, Cowboys. Early, early 19th century. When beaver skin hats were popular in Europe. Actually, we'll do that in a minute. It's 1820 to 1840. It's a very short period of time. And that's when the whole frontier was opened up. Now, what kind of traffic? Beavers. Beavers. Now, why, why did they like beavers? And the short hair is what they would mix in with the felt to make a very stylish hat that would not only hold its shape, but it wouldn't lose it in the rain. And so they were selling these beaver pelts to the people over in Europe. Remember Lincoln and the stovepipe hat? The quality of the hat was determined by how much hair was in the felt. And even today in cowboy hats, you'll look on the inside of the hat band and it'll be a 4X or a 10X. The more X's you have in it, the more hair is in the felt. So they were trapping these beaver. And they were trying to make money. Now what they did is they actually opened up the West. They brought back information about trails, Indians, a whole bunch of different things. But they were basically there to trap and to trade. The first thing I want to show you, this necklace is not old. The beads on it are. These are all different kinds of trade beads. Now most trade beads came from the slave trade over in Africa. They were made of glass in Italy. And they were traded with uh, African tribes who would go out and kidnap other African tribe, tribesmen and sell them into slavery for these beads and they would adorn themselves with it. The slave trade came over here to America and we found that the Indians also really valued these glass beads very highly. This oldest one in the middle here is called a chevron. And they make this by several different layers. This is a very unique one because it's a seven layer chevron with an aquamarine center, this bead is about 400 years old. It's been over in America probably for 200. The next beads that you'll see here, see the real multicolored ones? And we'll pass this around if you're real careful with it. This is called Mini Fiori. And that's Latin for meaning uh, thousands of flowers. And if you look at it, it looks like thousands of flowers. And then these other ones that you see right here, these are the Lewis and Clark beads. These are the ones that Lewis and Clark took west with them when they traded. And there's not a whole lot of them around, so they're pretty rare. The rest are feather beads, skunk beads, and the like, but uh, once you pass that around, you get to see. We'll pass these ones. These are chevrons here as well, but these are only six-layer chevrons. They're not nearly as valuable. Um, match. They actually had them back in the Revolutionary War time. They were called, interestingly enough, Lucifers, because I guess it was a little piece of fire and brimstone. The mountain man was afraid of losing matches, running out, getting wet or whatever, so they learned to make fire with wood and steel. This is just a regular steel striker right here, okay? He's going to make fire. There's a piece of flint that I have in here. Actually, this is chert. This came from Arizona. This is flint. And this, I don't know what this is, I found this on the ground right outside here by the playground. Um, Properties has flint, and sure enough, you strike this edge, watch, watch, watch what happens here. Watch out, watch out. You see the sparks fly off of this? I can't see, everybody's in the way. Watch out. Okay, sit down, you gotta sit down, okay? You strike it. Okay. Now, it's so you find all these rocks out in nature, and as long as you have a knife or a striker, you can get sparks. But it's tough to get a fire to watch. And so what the mountain man would do is make something like this, and they call it char cloth. This is what will hold your sparks. So you Boy Scouts that have a hard time lighting your fire, this is the missing ingredient. What you do is this is typical monk cloth. Okay, it has to be all cotton. What is it? Monk cloth. Monk? You can go down to Walmart and buy it by the yard. Monk? Monk. M-O-N-K. Monastery Yeah. You put it in a box like this, and you see this tin that's got a small hole in the top, a small hole underneath in the bottom, and you place it over fire. And what it does is it cooks it, but it deprives it of the oxygen it needs to actually ignite. So it chars it. Now what happens is... This will hold the spark. You take something like this, and let's use our flint at the end of the time. 
What we're going to do is see if we can get a spark to catch right down in there. This is sometimes a little bit tough to do when you... All we need is one spark down there. Yeah, it's not going to work for me now. Let's try that shirt. Yeah, there's sparks. They're not going on the... Okay. See how it caught that one little spark right there? Okay. Now watch. Start to. We'll go. Exactly. I was getting too out to hold. <laughs> but anyways, if you try to hold it in your hand, and it'll get hot enough. Ouch. That it will ignite. And what you do is you put this stuff, which is like toe. I'm going to make a mess here. Which is like what? That's hair? Toe is, is a flaxen byproduct. Where do you get it? You know, you have ten of them on your feet. With, well, in the old days, flax was all they used. Where did you get that? Yeah. Mount Bands for us. <laughs> and it'll, it'll catch fire real quick. And that's how the mountain man made the fire. Yeah. Yeah, we got the windows open. We should be all right. So the missing three is char cloth, and I wouldn't recommend you make it by yourself, but if you want your mom to help, it's just monk cloth, small hole top and bottom, turn it on high on the range. And it'll, when it stops smoking, it's done. Then you set it very gently and cool. Wait, 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 wait. So you treated that fabric before? No, just straight fabric. Uh -huh. Then cut it into squares. It's called monk. This and then set them on top of each other. Put them in a canister. One small hole in the top and bottom. Turn your oven on high. Well, you on the stove or on a fire. And you'll see smoke come out of the top. When the smoke starts coming out of the top, it'll, it'll come out a steady stream and then wisps and then puffs and then nothing. Gently move the side and let it cool for several hours because it's so fragile if you touch it. Alright, so I'll go like, the, like on hey, the careful. Don't hit. Like the mantle. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you can put that in your oven. You don't have to put it on the fire. Show you is a little powder horn that I made. Still not up. This is the last thing I'm going to pass around. The mountain men back then with their rifles, they didn't have bullets per se. What they did is they poured powder down the barrel. Well, they just use the tough that I did. And then they would put a ball down, ram a ball down, and they shot one shot at a time. And this is what we call a priming horn. It's small because they held small grains of powder in it. And this is what they would use to put in the pan that held the lock, that held the flint, that gave the spark, that gave the flash. And we have a lot of sayings that come out of this era. How many of you are flashing the pan? When you call somebody a flash in the pan, that means they were there, they were famous for a minute, and then they were gone. That came, that came from the mountain man era. It's part of the lock mechanism. Right, it's actually like a fuse. Okay, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, it's like a fuse. 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 Yeah, and this would screw on top, and then you have a thong that would come around here and attach right in here, and that's what would hold it in place. Very crude instruments, but it was but thrown with enough force, yeah. Any questions? That's a hard maple wood. That's a tiger eye maple. Um, that has got a varnish on it, a stain with a varnish. Well, time and danger. What was that, Victor? Oh. You know, this is one of those questions that you just don't know. It's a labor of love. That was probably 25 hours. 20, 25, 30 hours. I don't keep trying to It's like making a quilt. If you don't enjoy every step of it, don't do it. And you can't be right, right now, I'm building three flip off risers. I'll probably make $400 profit on it. 
And I'll have about 200 hours in it, uh, $2 an hour, so obviously I'm not doing it for money. No, you can't do it by the hour. What do you make it? And you can't be in a hurry. You buy components. Uh, one so is you already buy the, the I bought the barrel, the lock, the wood. Did you? The barrel's already poured out. Yeah. Because he was into it and was talking about it. Well, I, I kind of toyed with the idea. I wanted to learn how to shoot a muzzle over. So he told me, why don't you doing that? You get one that. Uh, monk cloth is the best because it has holes in it. It's, it's a loose weave. On the Stuart Falls house or hike. Those of you guys that went to Stuart Falls years ago, if you ever you've been over there, Carl, years ago. Yeah. The the house, the rock house that they made to, for the filming of Jeremiah Johnson. Yeah. I remember going to say Jeremiah kept, Johnson was a real individual. He was actually called Liberty Johnson. Uh -huh. uh, the crows killed his family, and he, every crow he found, he would kill and pull out their liver and, and eat a piece of the liver and lay the liver on the chest. And that's the way the crow knew that it was him. That was him. his trademark, huh? Who's that? Liberty Johnson. Oh, you're meaning crow Indian. Yeah. Crow Indian. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking. If you're starting wrong, you're in trouble. Yeah, yeah, Probably best he doesn't know we're watching. Ben. 
this guy. <laughs> He's got the right, that's got, he's got the wrong foot. He's going to slip. Ball. 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 Ball.
A little higher. Hey, shimmy. And got it. Comes Nathan. Say hi to Dad. Is this fun? Ready. I'm taking people in the shadows. I just decided to film early. There you go.
Turn around and wave, Kate. There we go. Okay, there's Nance and Jenny and Liz. And there's Katie going way up in the trees up there where we can hardly see her anymore. And I have to go there and then there. I'm amazed that she's doing this. She is just directly overhead. Look at that. <laughs> Look how high up she is off the ground there. You are. Whoops. Good. Wait till you get up there. She's not even there yet, and she's talking about repelling. Okay, this is Liza. Off the ground. All the way up. There's Katie getting ready to rappel down while Cousin Liza's going up. So that's Liza on the lower right climbing the rock portion of the wall. And Katie's on the upper left next to the guy in the orange pants getting ready to rappel down.
Well, that's a big bite, Liza. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing instead of watching. Liza, give us a smile! Okay, it's Katie. There's Ryan going up the pole. And up here, we can find her. We have Liza. She's kind of hiding right there behind the tree. There she's stepping out. That's Liza getting ready to go across the high wire. There's Ryan going up the pole. Go, Ryan! There's Liza at the top of the screen coming out and across. And there's Ryan on the pole down underneath. Whoops. Good job, Ryan! That's Ryan moving up. Doing fine, she's double hooked. Go, Liza! There 
There's Ryan there. There goes Liza right through the tree, right there. Let's see here. There she is. Give you an idea of all the way down to the ground. There's the ground. And there's Nancy. We go up the tree. And there's Liza. Time to reach out and get that last one. There she goes. Tethering yourself up. Okay, Liza, do your thing. Okay. There she goes. Give you an idea here. Let's just go all the way down. There's the family down below. And we'll go up and see if we can't find Liza doing her high wire act. He's almost there. There we go. Almost home. And here's Ryan over here. Let's see if we can zoom in on Ryan. He's transferring. One bullet in the neck. There. There's Liza just about to come in. Good job, Liza! There's Ryan just about to step out. There's Ryan transferring a carabiner or what they call the rabbit ears, the safety side. Did he screw that tight? What? Did he screw that tight? Make sure it's screwed on tight, Ryan. Check that first one. Make sure it's screwed tight. Yeah, see, he didn't screw that one. Okay, turn and wave at the camera before you start so we can see it's really you. Okay. <laughs> Nothing. Go ahead. I got what I wanted. Look at that. Pan down and get all his cousins down there. There's his cousins way down there. I know. You like to get real wild. 
is about to come down. They're just oh, okay. getting them set up. There's Ryan getting ready to go.
Okay. You stand right about here. You just kind of hold it down and you just kind of push it down. Put my hand up because I don't want one, two, three, and I'm taking it. We'll take four. One, two, three. Okay. That was it. No, we're just taking some right now. Did it take? I thought it did. Did it snap? I thought I had done it. The one didn't turn out. Leave it on the Some more. I've taken some. Okay, one, two, three. Two. Take another one. Go ahead. With the flash. And then a few without the flash. Got it. Okay, Margaret. Here goes one. One, two, three. Try now. Turn the flash off. Yeah. And do this again. Yeah, wind that. Okay. Okay, we're going to take four. Uh, never mind. Who's going to take these? We don't have the time. you got to get in there quick. Four. Take one with the flash when it's out, and then I'm going to put another thing in. Okay. Coming. I'm just making sure this is set up right. Okay, we only need Tom in there. There he is. There's the whole group. Okay. Gene, is that enough video? Yeah, that's enough. Yeah. I think she's No, no, no. Do you want to color one? Do you want to color one? Do you want to color one? Do a regular one this time? Yeah. We'll take Okay. Now, uh. Oh! You guys want to get out? Do you guys want to go get a snowball? 